Rebound tracked down by Goldsberry. Can he go seven for seven? Yes! Goldsberry for eight in a row! <laughs> With his trademark, all-out style of play and never-quit attitude, John Goldsberry embodied the true Seahawks spirit in a career that spanned four years, from 2003 to 2006. Whether it was shooting, dribbling, or passing, the hustling playmaker from Ohio made every teammate around him better, representing the Seahawks in exemplary fashion on the court and in the classroom. When his career concluded with UNCW's fourth NCAA appearance in 2006, Goldsberry finished as the school's all-time leader with 530 assists. He also scored 1,104 points and grabbed 228 steals and racked up a host of athletic and academic honors. Playing with John, you always, you know, you, you learned a great deal from him. You know, John always, always knew what to do. Um, you know, he was, you know, the guy on the court, you know, that, that we sought answers to and, and the guy off the court. So, um, you know, he was just a, an amazing guy. You were an absolute joy to coach, uh, a true student athlete, a great basketball player, and are still a wonderful ambassador to UNCW. I wish you and your family all the best. Sorry again, I can't be there. I'm so proud of you. It was an honor to be your coach. A great player, an accomplished student, a born leader, John Goldsberry, UNCW's newest basketball immortal. Back in 2001, 
even though it was 10 hours away, I knew there was something special about this place. And I really did not know how well it would turn out. Uh, it means a lot to be here tonight, and it means a lot of my jerseys going up there. And if I'm honest, those banners up there mean a lot more to me. Those, those bands are going to be on here tonight. My family, my teammates, my coaches, this community, these fans, they're the reason I'm here tonight. I didn't, I didn't know what hard work was until I came to UNCW to play basketball. So I had to run a 20 ladder, so I had to run three miles in 20 minutes, until I saw Mitch Law puke lifting weights down in the peanut butter hall. We weren't, we weren't doing anything special, we were just doing what we expected. We didn't, we didn't want to let that upperclassmen down. Or, or the guys who played before us who built this program. During my time here at UCW, and, and really, you know, since I was born, I've, I've been surrounded with people who put me in a position to be successful. In the classroom, on the floor, and more important, in life. I can't thank the upperclassmen enough for showing me what it took to play college basketball. Their hard work and dedication, along with the guys who played before me, at the foundation and we just try to sustain it. I want, I want to thank my professors that I, hear, that I have here at UNCW. An emphasis on student athlete was always present during my time here. I want to thank the supportive administration and faculty in the athletic department. Game night at Trask Coliseum was something special because of our faithful fans, and our, and our crazy student body. This, this is the toughest place to play in the CAA. I want to thank, I want to thank my coaches, and especially Coach Don and Coach Brunel, for believing in a, a slow, 6'3", 200-pound football player from Ohio. They, they pushed me, they challenged me, they developed me and my teammates and the players as a team to compete at the highest level of college basketball. I want to thank my family. My mom and dad and brother and sisters have traveled thousands of miles to watch me play basketball over the years. And they've been incredible role models. The best, the best thing about coming to UNCW was that I got a chance to meet my wife, Lindsay. We have, we have our, our daughter, Kennedy, who's one, our son, Jackson, who's three, and we have a third on the way in August. And lastly, I want, I want to thank my teammates. As hard as it was at times, we believed in each other, we fought for each other, and because of that, we'll, we'll have a bond that lasts forever. And that's what made it so memorable. Thank you. So I want to go up to the southeast corner of Trask Coliseum as a permanent reminder of John's accomplishments is unveiled. Deserved to get that jersey up there alongside the others, Brian Rousam, Bill Mayhew, and uh, Brett Blizzard as well. So much congratulations to him. We'll talk more to him certainly in the second half coming up. And at the half, the Seahawks up 29 26. We'll take a break, be back with more after this at Seahawk Basketball, driven by your Carolina Ford dealers. <laughs> 